some problems in our lives will not be solved by praying only. Your problems are still there because you have refused to follow the right process of dealing with them. Some problems will remain in your life if you do not face them the right way. All these things you will get to know in this video. The Holy Spirit will open your eyes and give you more insight as you watch this video. I encourage you to watch to the end. Please, subscribe, like, comment, and share. God bless you. Vicky. What is going on? I thought you would come out with your Bible so we will start going. It getting late already. Where are we going to? Night vigil of course. Yeah. You are right. I forgot. You should have called me to remind me. Nobody called me to remind me of tonight's vigil. I put my mind to it and also set a reminder. I apologize, Kate, I will not be able to come with you today. I won't be coming to the vigil tonight, I didn't plan it. Go in, take your Bible, and off we go. I am not coming with you tonight. Are you joking? I have been busy all week, I want to rest tonight. We can go together some other time. I promise I will pray at home. Are you sure? I will pray at home, I assure you, Kate. I didn't plan any vigil tonight, I need to rest. Let me take a glass of water and go to bed. Let me pray. I am so tired, I am not sure I can pray now. Maybe I will have to wake up later. Eat. Eat your food. I am not hungry, I do not want to eat. I say eat. Eat your food. I will eat. I will eat. I am eating the food ma. Good job. Do you love the food? Yes, I did. I enjoyed the food, thank you. I am so tired. Why am I eating in my dream? I am so tired. How was the vigil yesterday, Kate? It was powerful and glorious. How was the prayer at home? I prayed fervently, it was a powerful one. Thank God you were able to pray. Are you alright, Vicky? I felt a sharp object in my stomach. How do you feel now? I will just use the restroom when I get to work. Sorry, dear. Thank you, Kate. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Vicky. How are you doing? I am fine, ma'am. You will be going to the conference in Singapore next month. What? I am super excited about this. Thank you for counting me worthy. It's okay. The board decided to pick you. Thank you so much, ma. You are welcome, Vicky. I heard people congratulating you at the gate, what is going on? So you didn't hear the gist in your department? No, I did not. I have been picked by the board for the conference in Singapore. Are you serious? I am so happy for you, Vicky. Thank you so much Kate. Singapore I am coming. Yeah. Vicky is so lucky to have been picked for the Singapore conference. This is so good for her. I will be picked one day. Let me go to bed. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me this opportunity. I do not take it for granted. I want to pray, but I am just so weak. I need to sleep. I will wake up by 2 a.m. so I can pray. Thank you, Jesus. I came to collect what was given to you at your office today. I can't remember you being one of our staff or on the board of directors. So why should I give it to you? I am not here to negotiate anything, I am here to collect what was given to you. 
I rebuke you, Inch. <laughs> Look at you. You cannot call the name to save you. I am waiting for you. Call that name. I rebuke you, Inch. What is going on? Why can't I call the name of my savior? Give it to me, right now. What is happening to me? I can't pray, I can't call the name of Jesus in my dream and I can't fight back. All this has not happened to me before. I eat in my dream every time I sleep. You sent for me ma'am. Vicky, we have a problem. What is going on ma'am? I got an email from the head office this morning that you will no longer be going to Singapore. What? This is not happening. This cannot happen to me. I got the mail this morning, I was shocked. Everyone in the office already knows I am going to Singapore. What is happening to me? You can go back to your office. What is going on? Why are you crying? You are not saying anything, Vicky. Let us go to the lounge. Why are you crying? The HR called me to her office and she said that she got an email from the head office that I would no longer be representing the company in Singapore. That will not happen in Jesus' name. Everybody already congratulated you. You will go. You must go in Jesus' name. Some things have been happening in my that I do not understand. What has been happening to you? I had a dream that an evil creature collected what was given to me at the office. Something has been stolen from you. I have been eating in my dreams, Kate. Oh my goodness. You can't be eating in your dream, Vicky. Since I started eating in my dream, I have been having sharp pains in my stomach. The enemy is depositing evil seed in your body and it's already manifesting that is why you are having that pain. Eating in your dream makes you weak as a Christian, you will not be able to pray. You are right Kate. My prayer life has gone down the trail. When I told you I prayed that night, I lied. I couldn't pray, I was weak and tired. The worst thing is that when I fight in my dream I lose my strength and I can't call the name of Jesus and the enemy always overpower me. This is a serious demonic manipulation. If your prayer life is down all this and more will happen to you. Your fire has to be restored. Your prayer life has to be restored. That is how things can go back to normal. This situation you are in right now does not only require prayers. What does it require? fasting and prayer. Matthew 17 verse 21 Howbeit this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. As a believer, we cannot underestimate the power of fasting and prayer. If you want to always be in the Spirit, you must always give yourself to fasting and prayer. We can only subdue the flesh when we put the flesh under subjection. Romans chapter 8 verse 5 For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. Romans 8 verse 6 4 To be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. This is why we always have to be in the Spirit. We keep our fire burning by always giving ourselves to fasting and prayer. Are you ready to give yourself to fasting and prayer? Yes. Yes. I want my fire back. I want my spiritual life back and I want everything stolen from me back. Thank you Jesus because any time I call you answer. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 But if the spirit of him that raised up is from the dead dwell in you, 
He that raised up raised from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. Holy Spirit, quicken my mortal body, restore my fire, and restore my prayer life in Jesus' name. If a science 3 verse 20 Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, let the power of the Holy Spirit be at work in my body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. 1 John 3 verse 8 He that committeth sin is of the devil. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Let every work of the devil in my body and life be destroyed in Jesus' name. Nehemiah chapter 5 verse 11 Restore, I pray you, to them, even this day, their lands, their vineyards, their olive yards, and their houses, also the hundredth part of the money, and of the corn, the wine, and the oil, that ye exact of them. I command restoration over everything that has been stolen from me in Jesus' name. Thank you Jesus for answer prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Another email came in this morning and the board has decided that you will still be the one to represent the company in Singapore.